In this video, I will show how to create event tracking in Contact Form 7 using Google Tag Manager. So first of all, you need to have, I mean, access for WordPress, Google Analytics, and Google Tag, Ma Tag Manager. So to make our life easy, so I already create this template to copy and paste everything. So let's look at it one by one. The first is that you can paste the page URL here and then give it a title. Contact Form 7, so you need to think about event name. So let's call for this example, it's called Form Submitted. And then you need to prepare this code and paste at the additional setting and the Contact Form 7. So keep in mind this Form Submitted must be the same inside here. So let's go to Google Tag Manager. Every Tag Manager must have a tag name. So let's call it Form Submit. Tracking ID you already create a constant variable. It really is my the UA code. And then every event tracking must have category, action, and label. So I already figure out what is the name I should give. And then just name the trigger name as you want. The thing I want to emphasize is this form submitted the yellow color must be the same for this both or two. So the last is Google Analytic Go. So you can like think about what's the goal name and then the event category and event action must be the same for this both or two. So let's go to our the WordPress contact contact forms. Click the form you need to tracking. Click the contact form here. So go to this edge additional setting. Paste the code from the template just now. So let's just copy paste it here. So after that, remember to save. So that's all for this WordPress, the, con the contact form 7. Just go to Google Tag Manager. So as usual, just create a new tag. This tag name is called Form Submit. Paste here. Then create a new tag configuration, Universal Analytics. After that, tracking ID, I already create constant variable here. And then choose event. So you see the category action, just paste it. And then same for the action. Paste. Label. Notice here I post paste URL. Just use this dynamic variable inside Google Tag Manager. Paste URL. And then to keep the bow straight is not affected from this, so at least just true. So next thing is every tag must have a trigger. So let's create a trigger. Create new plus new trigger. So the name already prepared in advance. Contact form submit. Just paste it here. And then click the custom event. So the event name is here. Just copy and paste. So you can leave it into all custom event. So click save. And then save again for the tag. So uh, remember to publish it. So if you want to check, it's like you can go to this here and for preview and debug mode. Okay. So when we refresh here, after you enable the preview mode, you refresh, you have additional footer here. So this is from Google Tag Manager. So let's just try this form. Then let's choose send. So you can see from here, form submitted. And then the next thing is Google Analytics. Click to admin section. Click to go. And then create new goal. When create a new goal, choose custom. Continue. Go description. So you can paste this goal name. Copy. And paste. The type choose event, click continue. So the category and action you can just copy from here. Action. And the last thing is this symbol. So make sure the last one is you choose regular expression, the third. And then I just enable this for con conversion, so save it. 
so success so let's go back to the web page just view the name and then send so this one is sent so definitely when you click here the tag already submitted here so let's check at the event reporting real-time event so you can see so the event already successful tracking for additional setting if you have Google AdWords so you can sync this analytic goal into your Google AdWords conversion thanks for your watching happy tracking